Alrighty guys, we're at St. Vincent de Paul. Just got out of there for 35.27 today. So first thing I found was these pair of ski boots. Um, you guys probably saw a couple of videos ago. I found a pair of these uh, vintage Solomon boots. They look just like this. They're yellow and they're, I believe they were Force 9s instead of the 93. So I'm curious, we paid $6 on these. So I'm curious how those compare in price because the other ones were really good that I picked up. Funny enough, uh, yesterday is when I got that printer. It's probably a while since you guys have seen it. I'll pop a picture up on the screen, but I had to pay 23 bucks last night to buy a replacement cord for it because it was not with it on the shelf last night. So she just gave that to me for free, but it's already a bummer since I spent that much last night. Anyway, this random cord, I saw that it said uh, Apple on it and it looked kind of fancy. So I don't know if it goes to like a MacBook or what, but um, I'm not even sure what she charged me on that. Probably not much. North Face, I picked this up because it's super good condition, five bucks, and I saw that it was a downfilled goose down right there. So yeah, pretty cool. I'm sure that's worth a good amount. I like picking up these vintage Levi jackets. As you can see, it says made in the USA. These distressed jackets, um, what is it? Seven bucks, nine bucks we paid on that. That's really good. I'm sure that's probably at least 50 right there. This vintage ski jacket was awesome. Uh, I saw this on the rack that they had just wheeled out and I just couldn't leave that behind. I didn't even look it up. It just was way too cool to leave behind. Let me flip this thing over. Yeah, look at that thing, it's awesome. What is it, White Stag? Never never heard of that, it looks vintage. I'd like to say it's vintage. Um, yeah, really cool. And then this NASA jacket caught my eye. It's like genuine NASA, um, as you can see. So seven bucks on that. And I think I saw one sell for like 30 bucks plus shipping. So once again, just way too cool to leave behind. And it's got like a cool, like strap on the back so yeah all right guys we just went to st vincent de paul again we got out of there for focus please focus 6740 and uh this is gonna be kind of um i guess like not so organized compared to normal because they're out here like blowing and and mowing and stuff like that anyway we got this Woolrich jacket for uh nine dollars and I'm not sure exactly what that'll go for, but I know it's worth more than $9. It's like 70% uh, wool and uh, nylon, so that's pretty cool. This thing's brand new sealed, the Sirius XM. If you guys have watched me for a little bit, you saw me do really well with Sirius XM stuff in the past. So this is new sealed, but it has some damage on the front, but that's fine. These are still like 40, 45 bucks free shipping. I believe it's light enough to go first class. So that's pretty cool. And actually that was half off because it was in the back and electronics are half off right now. We've got two of these Rolodex uh, brand new sealed 50 transparent card protectors. Uh, those are an easy, I think around $30. We paid a dollar a piece on those. And then we got some new sealed Harry Potter um, wallpaper. They were both 50 cents a piece. Um, I saw another lot of these go for like 40 plus shipping. It was a lot of four of them. So I don't know, maybe like a dollar into 20 free shipping or something, but still really simple. And then these are were our, these were our most expensive items right here. These Bose speakers. So we have three of the double cube speakers. Those alone are like 60 to $70 plus shipping. I'll just lot those up. And then if you guys didn't know, the remotes alone, usually Bose remotes go for a really good amount. This remote alone will pay for the lot and then the speakers will just be money on top. So yeah, we paid 40 for all that. And this remote alone is like 40, 45 bucks right there. And then lastly, we have this power nailer model 250. It's supposed to be the, the nailer and a mallet right there as shown on the box, but I opened it up. It looks new in there, but it does not have the mallet. So I don't know. It's hard to tell because there's one listed for, I think 190 free shipping, none sold of this exact model. But if you search power nail, there's a ton of sold. So I don't know, maybe list for a hundred dollars plus shipping and just see where it goes. That was $10 and I'm not sure if we got half off on that. 
I forgot to mention some more cost, maybe like another two or three dollars was just like random cords. So we have like a USB printer cord, um, a couple different AV cable sets, and then a Wii power supply. So just stuff to keep on hand and I buy it when it's cheap. That way when I do come across something, um, I don't have to spend like, you know, 10, 15 dollars on it. Once again at St. Vincent de Paul, today we get out of there for $67.40. And we got this really cool Frankenstein. It's like, a, it's gemmy. So any of these dancing, like a lot of times you see like the dancing fish, um, just a bunch of different dancing stuff. Um, I don't think this guy is vintage, but still uh, this should do pretty well for $4. I'll just have to plug some batteries into him, make sure he works. Um, I mean, if not, that's a cool shelf decoration. There are some models of this going for like crazy money. So just be on the lookout for this kind of stuff. Um, this thing, brand new sealed, it's going to be super easy. We'll be paid $2, and that's like an easy $15, $20 free shipping right there. These uh, toe shoes, these are Adidas, so I know those were an instant pickup as soon as I saw them. We got these in a, uh, like they wheeled out a cart. They didn't have them on the shelf yet, so I just went through and I picked out a few pairs. The only ones we ended up getting were these and these Birkenstocks. But yeah, these things are like really easy really simple first class shipping i've learned to pick these up pretty much any brand they're going to be worth um, at least a little bit of money um, these birkenstocks these are berkeys and uh, for ten dollars those should do pretty well this is the first time i think i've ever found birkenstocks out in the wild so that's cool never heard of this brand this rider wear but this looks like weightlifting shoes i thought they were wrestling shoes but yeah, it turns out they're gym shoes, uh, weightlifting shoes, and that brand has a pretty good following. Um, these things are kind of beat up, like they got some blemishes, but for $5, I mean, at least $30 plus shipping, I think, on those. Once again, found some Sorel boots, brand new with tags, size 17s, just like the ones we found the other day. These do have a different color scheme, but they're pretty much the same exact thing. I was glad that I only found one more pair because I still have yet to sell any of those as of the time I'm recording these. But yeah, for $30, I just can't leave those behind. I can't help myself. And then lastly, we have this North Face coat. Um, I've told you guys a thousand times by now, I feel like, but anytime it's Goose Down and North Face or just a good brand, pick it up. Right there, you can see filling. Oh wait, maybe, maybe you can't see that. Yeah, right here. Jeez, focus. Insulation, Goose Down. And then you go to the sleeve on North Faces, it's nice because the sleeve tells you uh, 700 fill. That is a pretty high fill. Once again, the higher the number, the more value it's gonna be. So yeah, that is an awesome score for $7. Is this pan supposed to be like this? I don't think it is. It would have been a good pickup for 15 bucks. <laughs> what? As you can see, we're pulling away from Goodwill. Uh, this is a different area than we're used to going. Uh, we're going up north. You can see we're in Centerville. It's about, what, 30 minutes away, would you say, Joni? Yeah. From, from where we live? Yeah, so we just don't come up here. We're meeting my parents halfway from uh, the Columbus area for some food. But anyway, we figured we'd stop because our parents are fashionably late as usual. Um, but hey, shout out to my parents for this because we spent $47 we saw these as soon as we walked in the door. These are like $200 plus shipping pair of Jordans. That's crazy. And they charge what, like five or $6 there for shoes. I'm gonna send them into, I believe the app is called Check Check. Never done that before, but I see other YouTubers doing that for expensive shoes. But just looking off pictures, these things look legit and the code comes up. So that makes me happy right there. And then it looked like they had a whole bunch of Amazon returns that got donated there. So this is one of the things that we found brand new sealed for four bucks. That's like an easy 20, 25 or something like that. Um, we did get some Keens, some kids Keens, um, nothing crazy, but I believe their kids shoes are $3 there. So for $3, I'll pick those up. There should be some money left on there. And then, And then we have these Skechers Tone Ups. These things are just something that I've never seen before. I know Shape Ups uh, can do well, so I figured their Tone Ups were about the same. I've just never seen the boot version. I've always just seen the tennis shoes. So yeah, once again, like five bucks into like 30 plus shipping. So nothing crazy once again, but it's something. Uh, we got these, uh, what are these? Belleville, 
yeah, Belleville, Belleville boots. Um, these are like military boots. So five bucks into like 30, 40, maybe 50 on the high end, but yeah. And then we have, I'm not gonna pull it out, but it is another Land's End Goose Down. It, this one is like more of a trench coat, like really long, but it's got like that nice fur lining. And uh, I believe their coats are like five bucks there. And I just sold a Land's End coat that I picked up from St. Vincent de Paul for $5, sold that for $50 plus shipping. So that's probably around the same for that. And then I'll pull these out. We saw these as soon as we walked in. They had fresh racks out, a uh, bunch of Vineyard Vine shirts. So we got three of them. They're all extra small. And I don't even know if they, they uh, charge you for shirts there. I forget from the tag, but yeah, these should do well. Vineyard Vines is something good to look out for. This is a uh, Valentine's Day one. This is a Easter one. So yeah, if they're not worth much on their own, I could always lot those up. So those should do well. I believe that is it. Was that everything, babe? Yeah. Okay, yep, that was everything. All right, so I sent these into the Legit Check app. I took all the pictures that they said to take, um, and it took them like a minute to decide that these were replicas. So that's a huge bummer, um, but at least we're not out much. We're out like $6. And uh, I guess I learned an important lesson to look at comps and just make sure that they are legit before buying them. Um, I kind of didn't do that just because uh, like it was only $6, but if they had these priced at like 50 or something like that, like of course I would take, you know, do more due diligence, but they're supposed to have a tag on the inside of the tongue, which these do not, they have them hanging off the side. And then also the soles, I mean, the soles could have been switched out, so that wasn't a huge red flag. The red flag was the tag, um, but the soles are supposed to have like a Jordan, like a red Jordan symbol right there. Um, but other than that, these things look, like I'm looking at other comps, these things look like identical to what they're supposed to look like. These fakes are getting crazy good. Um, so yeah, guys, I guess just, just be more careful. Um, but I, I definitely learned something for this. I'll pay $6 to learn a lesson. But yeah, that's just crazy how good they are. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video or at least learned something. I know I definitely did. Um, I know these aren't like your guys' favorite videos, but this is just what we got to do uh, for the time being. And this is also just stuff from like the past couple weeks. I hit the thrift store here and there. I'm starting to hit it less and less, um, but I am still finding stuff. And hopefully with this nice weather, nice weather we have, uh, more garage sales, flea market videos, and stuff like that to come. So I appreciate you guys for being patient. Thank you so much, and you have a great day.